If you eat more than 30 grams of protein in one meal, the protein is wasted and you kill your gains. That is what the internet tells you, but if we consider basic human metabolism, your body can absorb large amounts of protein in a single meal. Protein is mostly absorbed in the small intestine. The small intestine is designed to absorb big amounts of protein. So something like 40, 50 or even 100 grams of protein, your small intestine will be able to absorb with no problem. But where things get interesting is when we distinguish between protein absorption and protein utilization for muscle growth. Because even though your body can pretty much absorb unlimited amounts of protein, there is a limit to how much of that protein gets used to build muscle. This is why how you distribute your protein intake throughout the day can impact your muscle growth progress. If you need 120 grams of protein, eating 3 meals with 40 grams of protein will typically produce better progress than just eating 120 grams in one sitting. In today's video, I will explain how you can best structure your daily protein intake to maximize muscle growth. At the end of the video, I will also show you how I structure my protein meals with clear examples. To know how to best structure your protein intake in a day, we first need to know your daily protein requirements. You will often hear bodybuilders claim that you need 1 gram per pound of your body weight in protein. But if we look at the research, most people can eat less protein and still maximize muscle growth. A famous 2018 research review of 49 studies found that eating 0.7 grams per pound of your body weight was enough for maximizing muscle growth. A more recent 2022 study supports this by showing that you can also maximize strength gain by consuming 0.7 grams per pound of your body weight in protein. So if you struggle with reaching that 1 gram per pound of your body weight target, you do not need that much protein. You can scale it back to 0.7 grams per pound of your body weight, that is 1.6 grams per kilogram. For someone that is overweight or obese, I recommend you base your daily protein intake on goal body weight rather than total body weight. Now that we know you need about 0.7 grams per pound of your body weight in protein, how can we best structure this protein intake throughout the day for the best results? Research indicates that dividing your daily protein requirements between 3 to 6 feedings in a day allows you to maximize muscle growth. So if you need 120 grams of protein per day, having 3 protein feedings of 40 grams, 6 protein feedings of 20 grams, or anything in between will allow you to maximize muscle growth, compared to just squeezing that 120 grams into 1 or 2 meals. A 2020 study supports this. The researchers divided 26 volunteers into two groups. Both groups consumed around 100 grams of protein. The first group divided their protein intake over two high-protein meals, while the second group had three evenly distributed protein doses. The group with three evenly distributed protein doses in a day was able to build more muscle over a 12-week period. So keep in mind that dividing your total daily protein intake over three to six daily feedings is beneficial for muscle gains. This protein frequency recommendation is based on science in which researchers analyze how much protein you need to maximize muscle protein synthesis. Muscle protein synthesis is the process through which muscles recover and grow. In a 2009 study, the researchers investigated the effects of consuming four different protein doses ranging from 10 to 40 grams. The researchers found that consuming 20 grams of protein was pretty much able to maximize muscle protein synthesis. But there was a small additional increase in protein synthesis when the participants consumed 40 grams of protein. Other 2014 and 16 studies support this. You get a good boost in muscle protein synthesis rates when you consume 20 grams of protein per meal, but with 40 grams of protein, the increase in protein synthesis is slightly higher. So in these studies, having between 20 to 40 grams of protein in a meal helped the participants more effectively stimulate muscle protein synthesis, which is beneficial for muscle growth. But of course, everyone is different. A 100 kg advanced bodybuilder will need a different amount of protein per meal than a 70 kg beginner trainee. To determine your protein needs per meal, a 2018 research review suggests that having a per meal protein intake of 0.4 grams per kilogram of your body weight is a good aim if you have 4 daily protein feedings. So for instance, in my case, I am around 80 kilograms. This means my protein recommendation per meal is to consume around 32 grams of protein if I have 4 daily protein feedings. This puts me at 128 grams of protein per day, which is around my daily need of 1.6 grams per kilogram of my body weight. If I prefer having 3 protein feedings instead of 4 in a day, that is possible. But then I need 3 daily protein feedings of around 43 grams per meal to reach my 128 grams protein target. Essentially, base your protein intake per meal on your daily protein requirements and your preferred meal frequency. If you like having 6 small frequent meals, you can have a smaller protein dose per meal. While if you prefer 3 larger meals spread throughout the day, your desired protein dose per meal will be higher. You can even have good protein distribution while using intermittent fasting. Some people like to incorporate fasting into their routine as a way to make maintaining a calorie deficit for fat loss easier. If you have a 16-hour fast and 8-hour eating window, you will typically only have a high-protein lunch and dinner while skipping breakfast. 
My recommendation in this case is to add a protein shake snack to your daily routine in between lunch and dinner, so you can still reach that minimum of three daily protein feedings while intermittent fasting. Now, it is worth mentioning that distributing your daily protein intake is worth looking into if your goal is maximizing muscle growth. At the end of the day, reaching your daily protein target, whether it's through two or six meals, is the most important variable. If your goal is to simply maintain muscle while losing fat, there is research to support that you can do this just fine by having two daily protein feedings. But if you are looking to make new muscle gains and want to optimize that process, this is where distributing your protein intake between three to six meals is beneficial. Before showing you exactly what meals I consume to get quality distributed protein throughout the day, I want to mention protein quality. The research discussed about how much protein you need assumes that at least 50% of the protein sources you consume come from animal-based sources like meat, fish, or dairy. If you consume mostly plant-based protein sources, it is good to know that research shows plant-based protein sources are lower in some essential amino acids and also absorbed less effectively than animal-based protein. This helps explain why a 2016 study found that a 20-gram dose of milk protein stimulates muscle protein synthesis better than the same dose of soy-based protein. So per gram of protein, animal-based protein stimulates muscle growth better. With that said, there is a simple way to work around the lower anabolic response of plant-based protein. One study found that if you consume a larger dose of plant-based protein, you can stimulate muscle protein synthesis similarly well as with animal-based protein. Also, consuming a variety of plant-based protein sources can get you all the essential amino acids in adequate quantities. As a general recommendation for vegan athletes, scaling your protein intake up towards 2 grams per kilogram of your body weight is a safe bet to make sure you maximize your protein balance in a day. So now I want to give you a practical example of how I'm able to get 135 grams of protein in 4 meals. First, I like to start my day with a high-protein oatmeal breakfast, in which I mix 70 grams of oats with a scoop of whey protein, some fruits and warm milk. This contains around 35 grams of protein. Research shows that a high-protein breakfast also helps with lowering hunger levels throughout the day, so that is a nice extra benefit. For lunch and dinner, I like to structure my meals around a protein source and can look different every day based on what I would like to eat. But on a typical day, I will have an omelette with veggies for lunch, and for dinner, I have beef with rice and veggies around it. My lunch and dinner meals typically contain around 40 grams of protein. So breakfast, lunch and dinner together bring me to 150 grams of protein. Somewhere in the middle of the day, whenever I want a snack, I incorporate a high protein yogurt pudding with some fruits. This provides an extra 20 grams of protein and allows me to reach my 135 grams protein target. So it's basically three balanced meals and one snack, resulting in four distributed protein feedings. Feel free to use this example and tailor it to your preferences. Of course, I have my days of eating out and not being 100% consistent with my protein, but those days are the exception. Simply enjoy the flexible moments and then get back on track afterwards. If you are interested in my personalized advice about your nutrition and training to get life-changing results, you can apply to my one-on-one -on -one online coaching service. I will design your complete fitness approach and will personally make sure you achieve your goals. Visit the link in my description to learn more and apply. And that was it for today's video. I hope you now have a better idea of how to structure your daily protein intake. As always, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. Also, if you found this video helpful, then leave me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet, and I will see you in the next one.